Hello everyone, welcome back to my blog or YouTube channel. I'm sure we all love a good steak, but the truth is, high quality beef can get expensive. The good news is, there are some cheaper cuts that still deliver great results, such as the rump steak that I'm cooking today. Simple oven baked potatoes, fried egg and the delicious coffee based barbecue sauce will serve as the sides. Now let's cook! We can start with the sauce, it takes just a few minutes. In a small saucepan, heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil and drop in a tablespoon of butter. Once the butter melts, add one larger finely diced shallot. Saute for about 3 minutes, then add one clove of crushed or chopped garlic and saute for 3 more minutes. Next come 3 to 4 tablespoons of ketchup, one nice tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of balsamic glaze or vinegar. Coffee makes this sauce special. I've added about half a cup of strong espresso. Season the sauce with salt and pepper and give it a taste. Mine was too sour, so I added a tablespoon of sugar and since it was too thick for my likings, I also added a bit of water. Cook the sauce for a few minutes while stirring so it doesn't burn and we are pretty much done. We could stop here, but since I like sauces with smooth texture, I've used a hand blender to blend the shallot and garlic pieces. And that's it, the sauce is done. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm using simple oven baked potatoes as the side today. These are baby yellow potatoes that I've cut into halves. Olive oil, salt, pepper and Italian herbs are all the seasoning I'm using. Lay them on the baking sheet skin side down and bake at 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for approximately 40 minutes or until golden brown. And now the star of the show, our lovely rump steak. The ones I'm using today are not that thick just a bit shy of an inch or so, but that's just fine for this quick way of preparation. Season both sides with olive oil, garlic powder and black pepper. Do not use salt at this point, that will come later on. Some chefs claim that adding salt at the end helps to make the steak more tender, so let's give it a try. Heat up a bit of oil in a pan and start searing our steak from the first side. Give it about 3 minutes and flip. Spread half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard over the seared side and season it with salt now. I'm also adding dried Italian herbs at this point. Wait about 3 minutes and flip again. Season the second side with salt too. Now turn the heat down to medium and drop in a nice cube of butter. Let it melt, then baste the steak with it. Flip the steak again and baste the other side with the butter as well. As we all know, it's a must to rest the steak for a few minutes. I like to wrap it up in foil so it stays nice and hot. Give it at least 5 minutes please. The potatoes are ready too. Let's take them off the baking sheet and get ready to serve our dinner. Let me cut into the beauty to see what it looks like. Sometimes it's tricky to hit the right time but I think this one turned out great. I love the color. Our rump steak looks super juicy and tender. Let's plate the dish now. Steak goes into the center, potatoes on one side and a fried egg on the other one. And let's not forget about the delicious sauce we made earlier. I like to add a lot of it. And there we have it. Perfect steak dinner made from a cheaper cut that won't break your bank. Thanks for watching and please come back to see my new recipes. See you next time.